Hi, today we're going to take a look at multi bins and in inventory. This is Microsoft Dynamics GP 2015 R2. Uh, it does work with every version of GP that has multi bins. So I'm going to start by looking at this purchase order. And in this purchase order, I have two particular line items. I have a green, two green phones I'm ordering and one case of pink USB headsets. And I have them set to go into my warehouse, the site or lo inventory location called warehouse. So let's go ahead and receive this purchase order. I'm going to receive both of those. Because my phone is serial numbered, it's asking me for the serial number. And you can see it's asking me also which bin I want to put it in. I could come in and say I want one bin to go here. So I'm going to auto generate that. And I want the other bin to go in this warehouse. So I'm going to auto generate that. Now I haven't told the pink headset where to go. So how does it know where to go? Well, if I were to drill down on my site ID, here it is, there's a bin option here, and I can see the default location for when I purchase items for this warehouse or for this site location. So if I do not specify, that's where it'll go. If I want to specify, what I would do with it, the line highlighted, let's collapse so it's a little easier to see, under quantity ship, I'm going to click on this drill number. And from here, I can see which bin I want to put it in. So I could either assign a bin or I can add a new bin if I haven't added one before. So if that's where I want to put it, I need to remove this bin and then I could select whichever bin I want to put them in. So if I want to put them in the one that's called S4, and this one hasn't been added, so I'll click on Add and insert it to my bin list. I'm going to add all 10 bins and post this transaction. And now let's go into the inventory series. Okay, now I'm in the inventory items navigation pane and I'm looking at my green phone and you could see I have quite a few in stock. I have the 56 in stocks because I've added the, the few extra ones. And from with it highlighted, I'll click on view quantity sites and I'm going to put in the warehouse. So I see my total items and if I click on my go to button, I can see where these items are located. Now you see an auto create option because when I initially set up multi bins, I'd already had inventory in this particular item and so it didn't know what to do with it. So it just created a bin called auto create. So I have 52 in 0, E01, S3, 1 in E06, S5, and 3 in E01, S4. So that's pretty easy to do. Now if I want to move transactions from bin to bin, let's say I'm moving information on my shelf around, what I want to do is click on transfer transaction and I'm going to do a bin transfer. So here's my item. I'll select my site. I could use a reason code and a reason code would be anything that I create that provides a reason of why I'm performing this transaction. So for example, you can see I have a physical inventory count difference here. I could provide any reason that I choose. I'm going to say I want to move 10. It's asking me from which bin. So I'm going to move it from this bin to my S4 bin. And it's asking me, because this happens to be a serial item number, which ones? So I'm going to include the ones that I'm interested in moving. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We'll move those. One, two, short. And I'll include those. And click on transfer. And that's all it takes to using multi-bins in Dynamics GP. I hope this helps.